I installed this intake a month ago and it's doing well. I thought I would come out here and uh, check it out and see how the silt was doing because we've had about four or five really big rains. And so there is a bit of silt in here. Thought I would uh, pull the plug and see how well it drains out. Um, also in this video, I've got some PVC cement and I'm going to be um, pulling the drive pipe off the flume and uh, getting that um, glued together so that it won't uh, pull in air and stop the pump. So let's get started. I was thinking this morning about winter time and it's not good to have this much water just sitting here. Um, so I can actually pull the plug in the winter and keep this bucket drained down and that way my drive pipe also won't have water in it. So let me pull this plug here, hopefully. Get that drained out. I've been surprised how well this is uh, held up. It may be a really good solution to our problem that we're having with that box. Stirring things up pretty good. Pretty close to the end down there. I may be able to stir up some of that silt a little bit and get it out of there, but for the most part, it's done well to clean that out. I'm gonna go open up the ram pump and get the uh, drive pipe clean, or empty of water, so we can start working on that cement. Looks like I left the pump turned on last time. The problem is, uh, every one of the PVC joints I left open, and each of them pulls in just a tiny bit of air. And so it's uh, stopping the pump over time. I think to uh, make this as easy as possible, I'm gonna shut this off and then take the pump out of the system. That way, um, it'll be easy enough to remove these pieces of pipe uh, to get them cemented together. So, hold my rebar. And then see about getting this union unscrewed here. Maybe should have brought my larger tool, but this might work. There we go. As always, if you didn't know, I build and sell these hydraulic ram pumps from my website, landahouse.com. I like to throw in a little plug there on every ram pump video, just so you uh, go over there and check it out. And if you're uh, a normal subscriber, sorry for plugging it over and over again. <laughs> okay, drain this water out of this. I think we're ready to start pulling these sections out one at a time and getting them put together. The joints that are down by the pump I'd already um, put together, but you can see this line right here. That's where it's uh, pulled down. So definitely need to get this joint attached here. Now I'm gonna see if I can leave this one here and then do this one and then swap over so that I'm not adjusting that angle any and messing things up. May have to loosen the other end real quick, but give it a try. I didn't read to see if this would uh, work if it's dry or if it's wet. The directions did not say one way or the other for wet or dry, so I'm just gonna give it a try and see what happens. And it's going to be very little pressure anyway. Make sure the bottom is lined up properly. All 
All right, so there's one side. I'm gonna give that a couple of seconds and then do the other side here. I think it's been long enough. I'm gonna see if I can get this one to come loose. There we go. Get it cleaned out a little bit. I feel like the rest of these will be a little easier because they're just straight pipe and there's no angle to deal with. Okay. So I found out there's actually an airstrip, a small private airstrip, not far from the house here. And that's why there's always a tiny airplane flying around. <laughs> For instance, the one you hear right now. Well, there we go. On to the next one. The next joint is right here. I'm gonna have to loosen these screws here. Let's see, there's more down the line. May have to get those too. Even though ram pump season is almost over for this year, as far as planting a garden goes, I would like to do a longevity test on the pump to see just how long this will last. I've upgraded my brass check valves to a lead-free. Uh, it's a bit more expensive on my end same price for the pump, but uh, I want to see how this old valve works and then replace it with one of my new ones and see what the, uh, the lifespan is going to be on that. Okay, get this installed, hopefully. That was a good fit. Move on to the next one. All the sections now have cement on them. I'm gonna get the pipe put back together here. It says something about waiting two hours before use, so I think it'd be wise to wait for tomorrow to turn it back on. Should be no problem. Maybe then I can uh, go ahead and crank the pump up and get a longevity test going. I've had one longevity test before. Pump ran for six months, and then my neighbor uh, had a friend over who heard the clicking, and he came over and he turned it off. He figured I was wasting water. He was gonna be a nice neighbor and fix it, which is okay. But uh, hopefully this being out here in the woods Nobody will turn it off. Not a lot to show for final result other than to show that the joints have now been cemented together. Got, uh, this was the main one I was concerned about, getting that angle back together. But it looks good down there. Let's go check out the bucket intake and see how well the silt has been flushed out. Oh, nice. Almost completely gone. I think that's a very valid way of, number one, turning off the drive pipe, and two, flushing out the silt that was such a problem with my other design, this old box that just did not work well at all. I did want to see how much loss there was over here. Maybe a little hard for you to see, but there is uh, just a little bit of dripping going on. Not bad though, not bad at all. I spent a moment cleaning out the 
flume last time and it seems to have worked well there's a whole lot less water flowing under the little dam here see just a little bit but for the most part creek water is coming straight down here and going in right where it needs to I still need to replace this first flap of rubber with one that does not have a cut so that it won't uh, be losing this little bit of water in here but really and truly it's working well I'm pleased with it Expect video coming up sometime soon of a longevity test. We're going to crank this pump up and just let it do its thing. And I may put the hose somewhere where I can see that it's uh, still flowing out and working well. That way we know it's still going from the house. <laughs> Thanks for watching this video. I do hope to see you in the next one. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're in the uh, market for a ram pump, Head on over to landthehouse.com. See you next time. Bye.